day 13. I should shave. The mugwort, garlic. I had one protein shake today. Uh, whatever, who cares? Moon swings, man. I get so easily overwhelmed by feelings. Mood swinging, breath right. Today I feel good. Probably like five hours later, I feel like bad and hell, like so depressed and all that. I don't take medicine. I used to take them, but you know, that ain't really helping. They just numb me up and I don't want to numb up like that. If it's impediment, I'm good with it, but they just dumb me down. That's all. And problem ain't go away if I just don't think about it. I need relief and all that comfort and all that shit. Not just, you know, staring outside. My mom died in five years ago. Oh my gosh, she died in five years ago. It has been so fucking long time. Five years. Yeah, I mostly fucked more like uh, three years in my life after my mom died. I was not in the good shape. My dad was in was not in the good shape. She was struggling and I was struggling. I was struggling from the first I mean even before my mom got sick. I was struggling back then. Then my mom got sick. Then she died. Then I hit the rock bottom. Actually this is getting better. This is definitely better than three years ago. No, not three years ago, five years ago. Five years ago, just like dead man walking. Now is totally fine compared to that. Back then, I failed it more like a 300 job interviews. It ain't job, job, it's like a part time job interviews. If I were the boss, I wouldn't hire me because. I look bad. <laughs> I look like a person who tried to co tried to commit suicide but cannot do that shit. So just just like a, you know, slowly killing myself by you know drinking poison and all that shit. I started living alone when I was sixteen. Then I went to India for college. I paid for all that shit because my family was poor. I really, I really didn't want to go to college because, you know, college is dumb. I think it's a waste of time. Well, actually, it depends where you go, but where I can go is like a not good college because I'm not, I'm not the smartest kid in the world, and I didn't really pay attention to studying and you know, all that shit. I just listened to music, composing, producing, making beats. That's really distracting. <laughs> A uh, bunch of old people crossing by. They're just right next to me. Watch me eating. Probably thinking, thinking like, what the fuck is this kid doing? Weird ass kid. You know, I'm not good with old people. I'm not good with people in general. I don't know, man. What's it talking about? Yeah, I really didn't pay attention to school. Because my mom wanted me to be uh, a screenwriter. Bullshit. Because she wanted to be a writer. She wanted to be an author. But my, you know, grandpa told her not to do that. And she became nutrition, nutritionist, and all. You know, she had to gave up her dream, and she wanted me to be, you know, what she couldn't be. But I didn't really like movies. I mean, I like movies, but I don't get really. I don't really get movies. You know, when you see a movie, people talking about old metaphors and symbols and symbolism. 
um, oh, this this means that, and this is that, and this means a lot, and this shows, like, feelings, this character, bullshit, I don't get none of that. How the fuck do I have to, do I have to know that to see a movie? I mean, I don't know, everybody's, like, critics nowadays. I've been hating critics since I was a teenager. Maybe I'm still a teenager inside. I feel like I'm still a teenager inside. I'm 18 inside. In reality, I'm 28. In my mind, I don't look like this. I look like 18. But in reality, I look like this and nobody is in my life. Oh, man, fuck. 18 and a life, I got it. 18 and a life to go. Skid Row, yeah. I grew up with it. I like, I just like, you know, pretty things and, you know, just, just beautiful things. Like, guitar lift from Metallica. It's beautiful, right? I mean, like, Enter Sandman? Seriously? You don't like Enter Sandman? What the fuck's wrong with you? There's something fucking wrong with you, man. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Yeah, it, it, there's a variety of people's taste. I'm not judging. But, you know, it's Metallica, though. Seriously. Last one. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. I have memory of, like, a goldfish. I can't remember shit. There's a reason why I call myself dumbass. Dumbass. It's not really happy... Living being dumbass. <laughs> I'm not satisfied with it. But, you know, what can I do? This is me. When I think about it, I was dumb from the start. I, I was dumb child when I was like seven or nine. I went like skinny dipping in the river when I was eight. And I made a bow and arrow out of bamboo trees and, you know, some kind of rope. And I shoot it. Actually, I didn't really hit anything but the ground. You just, you just, you know, fly away and crash into the ground. Just like my life. Then one time, my arrow accidentally got, you know, stuck in the in the, somebody else's grave. Then I got scared because I, I believed in the ghost back then, so I went to the grave and bowed to the grave. Says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Then one time, I got bored playing with the bows. I grabbed, uh, you know, small knife from the warehouse. My dad's warehouse, there's a, a lot, bunch of, you know, rusted knives. Yeah, I brought a bunch of knives, like three or five knives, and, and threw in the air. Then I lie down, watching knives falling. It was shit, that was shit dangerous, but there's nobody to stop me. <laughs> and I did that shit, yeah. To, I don't know, somebody else's farm with my dog. Then I accidentally touched the beehive and bee stung me in the head. My face is a lot. And actually, there's a, boast with, a few bow spots in my head. Garlics. First one. Oh, shit. I'll never get used to the garlic. Last one. These are 10.